It may seem a little strange that a network engineer needs to learn Python. After all, when someone thinks of network engineering, their mind probably goes to load balancers, LANs, routers, and the like. While computer programming is not required to be a successful network engineer, the advent of network automation is slowly changing that mindset. As our world becomes increasingly automated, it is no surprise that the reliability infrastructure of our networks will become automated as well. Think of all the time-consuming tasks an engineer is burdened with. Inventorying hardware, for instance. Instead of manually checking every piece of hardware, a Python script can be run to execute a task that takes minutes to complete instead of hours. As the world moves to the cloud, automation will become critical to an organization's success. The first example about inventorying hardware leads us to our first reason to learn Python. Your efficiency will skyrocket. It's not an understatement to say network engineers have a lot to document. Anyone who has worked in networking knows there's a lot of equipment to keep track of. Software configurations such as firewall ports need to be documented too. Often, these configurations will be entered manually into a spreadsheet for concise documentation. Unfortunately, as our world becomes more networked, this requirement does not meet the standards of scalability. That's where Python comes into play. Using Python, an engineer can programmatically write and read to an Excel file. So instead of typing the data into Excel, a Python script is written to loop over the data and enter the data via code. Not only that, but they can use jobs to query the network and automatically write to the spreadsheet. Uh, let's take a look at a quick example. Using Python to collect MAC addresses. Whenever a new device is added to a network, a Python script can be triggered to ping that device. When the device is pinged, the MAC address can be extracted and written to a CSV file. That way, all physical hardware with a NIC can be tallied in a central location. This increases efficiency because it no longer has to be written down manually, saving the network engineer tons of time. The best part about programming is that it allows people to perform tasks in minutes that would normally take weeks. Not only can you implement changes quicker, they can be reversed as well. Uh, let's look at this practical example of this concept. When a node is put onto a network, such as a virtual machine, a network engineer needs to make sure it can communicate with the network and possibly even the internet. Generally, this is all taken care of when the VM is created. Information needs to be entered, such as which ports it can talk to, which ports should be closed, and which load balancer it's associated with. These questions and dozens more must be entered correctly or the wheels can fall off the whole network. Uh, Python automation can accomplish all of this by running a script. Instead of manually inputting these fields and hoping everything's correct, a designated template can be used to ensure the VM is spun up the right way every time. But what if the script you wrote is wrong? Well, a script can be written just as easily to reverse the changes. Let's just hope that it's not wrong too. Better yet, if these scripts are version controlled, you could revert your network to a previous state before the breaking change. The best part about automation is that it removes problem exists between keyboard and chair errors. In other words, by removing the human element from networking, reliability is increased. This leaves actual people to take on more creative work, such as experimenting on the network. Let's say you write a brand new networking technology that you would like to implement at your organization. Maybe it's an SD-WAN, EC2 instances, or even just a simple router update. Often, simple updates are met with great hesitation because there's a possibility it could just break the existing infrastructure. However, with network automation, these changes can be made without any fear. That's because the previous state of the network will be located on GitHub on a script to be executed if things get hairy. Diving into Python isn't just a smart move for tackling network issues, it's also a huge boost for your career. Getting a handle on Python can open up a ton of doors and opportunities you might not even thought of. It's like giving your resume a supercharge. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the role of software engineer is gonna grow 22% in the next 10 years. Mastering Python boosts your job security and opens new doors, whether you're enhancing your current role or seeking fresh opportunities. You don't need to be a coding expert to excel in network automation, offering a sweet spot between software development and network engineering without the coding overload. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments below what you think about learning Python. And if you're planning on getting a cert this year, don't forget to sign up for our cert class 2024.